So we're here at a packed out press conference at the venue at the Royal Liver Building with the man of the hour ahead of his next big fight. It is, of course, Liam Smith. Welcome back. This is almost a bit of a homecoming for you. Yeah, it is. It's like turning pro all over again. Obviously, my first fight for Matt Dream, back on Sky Sports. I'm back in Liverpool, so um, I'm buzzing. Looking forward to it. What does it feel like to know that you've got the city behind you? Got your family here today as well. What's it going to be like in the MS Bank Arena? Yeah, you know what? It, it kind of a privilege just to sit being here today, seeing the turn off for just a press conference with nine weeks ago. Obviously, I think of a fight week press conference is going to be bigger again. Then I think the fans are going to turn out in numbers for the. Probably not just for myself. I'm not, I'm not being being deluded by that. Obviously, there's a lot of Liverpool fighters on this bill, but it's good to see people when you haven't been in Liverpool for a long time. And, and it's good to know, like, kind of the Liverpool public want to see me fight here again and can't probably miss me, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, now, there's a, an unusual camaraderie between you and Sam as well, who you're taking on on the 30th. What's it been like then? Because obviously, you're sparring partners. What's it been like when you go head to head? Yeah, you know, we'll just do a bit business rise, as you see today. I'm not going to sit and slag Sam. He's helped me out in the past when I've struggled for sparring partners. Um, his coach is a good fella, John Pegg. So we don't need to slag, as you've seen today. We haven't slagged each other yet. We've got a good turn out today. So it's something of a role model. So back in your hometown, we're going to have loads of young lads and young girls into the boxing. What what would be your top tips from going from amateur to pro? Just obviously enjoy it. Obviously, If that's what you want to do, set your goals, then set them out. Set your stall out properly. Don't do it half-hearted. Um, and if you're going to do it, do it properly. Obviously, you need to be happy while you're doing it. You don't want to do it and be grumpy and lose the people around you. Do it with a smile on your face. Be nice to people on your way up because you will need them on your way down. So just stay uh, if you want to go ever it, go ever it. Don't let no one convince you otherwise. Now, that must be easier when you've got a family surrounding you who are boxing mad. Now, what we want to know really behind the scenes over Christmas, have you had to lay off all the selection boxes? No, I haven't. <laughs> I, was, I was all right. I was going to because I was going to fight December, but then obviously with the switch to match room and stuff, I was allowed to have a good Christmas. But it was a little bit hard. I had 19 of them in my house for Christmas dinner. So that was hard. Well, that's a match in itself. We've got to wish you all the best of luck. We will see you there at the MS Bank Arena on the 30th of March. Get Thank your tickets now. Thanks very much. Thank you.